Alright guys, so I've got my uh, PC on the bed here. And I know this is probably not the ideal location to be working on a computer because of static uh, discharge, but I will be running an anti-static wrist strap to prevent that as much as possible. And I'm not going to be moving around too much. Um, as I said, it's the only really uh, sturdy place I have to work on. Well, it's not really sturdy, it's a bed, so it kind of bounces around a little bit. But anyway, it shouldn't be bouncing around too much. It's not like you think the computer's going to be moving around that much anyway. So... As you can see here, and this is the process where I'm putting into this system. It is an AMD FX8350. That's what's in this box, as you can see right here. Let's see that. So that's what's growing in there. It does come with a cooler, but I won't be using the cooler because, uh, well, you guys can see I have a all-in-one liquid cooler there, so I won't be using that. So let me uh, go ahead and get this... Uh, guy off and uh or the cooler off uh this ought to be interesting but it shouldn't be too bad um <laughs> the trigger part is going to be putting it back on they're kind of a little bit finicky getting these back on but um so i'm going to go ahead and get the processor out and uh i will be right back all right guys so i got the uh the cooler off it was a little bit tricky to get it off but uh it's like i said it's gonna be even more tricky to get it back on but um yeah, it's got to be cleaned off a little bit, a little bit of dust there. i got to take care of that before I put it back on because I don't want it contaminating my thermal paste when I do put the new processor in. Um, yeah, thermal paste didn't seem to be as even as I, as I would have liked. Probably because when I first put this on, it kept popping up on me and as I was trying to screw the things down into the uh, motherboard, which, yeah, I was a noob at putting one of these on. It was my first one. Yeah, so... I, I don't think it will be that difficult because I just tried to re-put it on off camera just to see how I could, you know, do it differently. Maybe make it a little bit easier on myself. Yeah, so I think I should be able to handle it. But uh got the processor chilling right here. I'm waiting to get installed. So i got to clean this off, obviously, still as well. See, there's plenty of thermal paste there. But it's all old. got to come off. So... That's got to come off. This guy's got to come out. It's going to be cleaned up. I'm going to, you know, put this away, you know, for safekeeping just in case I need it. You know, maybe for another build or something. It's still a good processor. It's just that I'm not going to be using it in this computer any longer. So, um, yeah. I mean, the main reason why is because I have, uh, I bought Resident Evil 7 and this processor is does not support it. It will not, uh, it did run the demo, but it won't run the game properly, and it freezes at a certain point in the game, so, yeah, and the minimum requirements do say an, an, a, a, uh, an FX 6300, so, yeah, it doesn't say anything about a Phenom, so, that's what happens when you, uh, I'll be honest, that's what happens when you don't check the system requirements before you buy a game. Don't ever do that. Take that crap from me, man, don't do that, just, I mean... Look at me, seriously. I was uh, supposed to. I built this computer. You think I would know better than that? Guess not. But hey, you know what? We all we all make mistakes. So it is what it is. Got a new chip. About to get it installed. And uh, so yeah. So let me uh, clean this up and uh, I'll probably install the new CPU. And right before I do that, I'll give you guys an update. So just give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I. Uh... Sorry about that, my roommate's out there working on his car. Anyway, um, I got the uh, processor installed, and I uh, got the thermal paste cleaned off of the uh, cooler, so now it's time to put the new thermal paste on the processor. And, yep, that will be it. I'll obviously in install the cooler, too. So Then after that, that will be it. Then I'll come back with the uh, finished product. So let me go ahead and do that, and as I said, I'll come back with the finished product. Actually, technically, the first boot up. How about that? Might be interesting. Hopefully, it's not catastrophically interesting, but we'll see. So, let me uh, take care of that stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, I've got my computer all set up. I already did all the uh, setup process and stuff like that. I did have some issues in the beginning, which are known issues when you when you install anything new, like a new motherboard or in this case a new processor, the computer will have issues booting. 
Um, my issue was because of the RAM, actually. It would not run at uh, 1600 megahertz. It was, I was forced to have it run at uh, 1066, which right now I have it running at 1333. Um, not really sure why that is. I don't know. I'll have to look into that more. But the computer boots up just fine. Um, I am having an issue with uh, Media Center with the it downloading the TV setup data. It is having problems with that. It's completely unrelated to this. I've been having problems since before I did this uh, upgrade. And um, so yeah, but uh, other than that, it works fine. Um, Resident Evil 7 still wouldn't load. So I am going to reinstall it. I did uninstall it already. I'm going to have to reinstall it. Well, also re-download it, obviously, too. But uh, other than that, it's uh, doing okay. I mean, I haven't done any full testing yet, um, but I will. I will probably do a follow-up video in the next few weeks, probably. Um, just to let you guys know how this is going and how I like it and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day.